Bienvenidos a Madrid para el gran partido. Esta hermosa ciudad albergará el partido de vuelta. How was that? There's room for improvement, you know? Do you want me? Let's cut the Spanish. Real Madrid, a task in hand, must overhaul a 1-0 first leg defeat against Paris Saint-Germain to reach the quarterfinals. Since the first leg, manager Carlo Ancelotti has helped Los Blancos onto three wins to keep them top of La Liga, describing the latest win as near perfect. PSG, looking like no Mbappe, but maybe the next time we see him at this ground, he'll be in a white shirt. It's Messi's turn to take the limelight at the Bernabeu, which he oh so loves to do. With the help of Ney, old teammates at Barcelona, this game feels like a throwback to the El Clasico days. With Poch at the helm, they'll be fired up, but with poor recent form losing to Nantes and Nice, this game could go either way. Here we go. I'm an English guy, as you know, and we're here in Madrid, so it's only right I review your food. Let's give it a go. Right, Alvise, what we got here? We got some uh, patatas bravas. Right. Good you. quality. A little bit of sauce here, guys. Mmm, that's a good sauce. A solid 8 out of 10. There's some croquetas right there. Mmm, so soft. Goes that's down the right. most typical yeah. Spanish thing you can yeah. get. Yeah. So soft, man. This is unreal. 9 out of 10. Honestly, we need this in England. Secundo plato. Beautifully cooked steak. Okay, I'll, I'm just going to tuck into it. No review, I'm just going to enjoy it. 60% of Real Madrid fans tonight intend to cheer who need Mbappe recently. Oh. <laughs> Tin pot. I think it's a bit, it's a bit wet. Como marca Messi. Oh, that's big. Did you hit that? It's Seba! It's Seba! We're just walking down the road in Madrid. And we just hear chanting, don't we? The PSG Ultras, they're going absolutely insane. PSG Ultras going absolutely crazy. We've got a couple English fans here. What are your thoughts on these PSG guys? Some of the best. Yeah. What's your predictions? 2-1 PSG. Yeah. 3-1 PSG. 3-1 PSG. Enjoy it guys. fans having a word back. Okay, we have Alberto Christian here, Real Madrid fans. What do you think the score will be today? I think I hope Real Madrid wins. I hope like they 3-1 for Real Madrid. Yeah. And I hope that we can pass the, this, this difficult match and we can go to quarterfinals. Is he coming? Mbappe? Uh, I don't know. Today I'm neutral because I am Barca fan. <laughs> Barca? Oh! <laughs> Messi and yeah. Madrid. We're in the Real Madrid end. We're both neutrals today. We're yes. massive Messi fans, you and me. Messi fan. Messi. Oh, Messi, fan. Messi the GOAT. Messi, Messi uh, the GOAT? Messi will score. Prediction? 1-1. One, 1-1. One. One, one. And you, you think Ronaldo's the GOAT, I guess? No, I think it's Messi. Messi? Yeah, <laughs> Respect from a Real Madrid fan, man. There we go. Come on. We're here at the seat, Santiago Bernabeu. Very excited for the game. Big up Gianluca, by the way. PSG goalkeeper coach sorted us out. Today's team, Neymar, Mbappe and Messi as the front three for PSG is going to be insane. The front three for Real Madrid includes Benzema, Vinicius Jr. Cruz Modric Valverde is a solid midfield as well. 1-0 right now to PSG, bringing in the second leg. We're about 30 minutes to kick off. I'm very excited. So just take the view in for a minute. Los Blancos section behind the goal. Really a shame that you know they've closed off most of the Los Blancos section, so not going to be as much noise from the ultras of Real Madrid as you think. I don't often come into grounds an hour before kickoff, but I will when Leo Messi is on the pitch. So you've got the Real Madrid, Los Blancos, the ones in white over there. But as you can see on the screen, most of it's blocked off. 
can be hard for them to make an answer. And then you've got the PSG Ultras at the far right of the stadium, top corner of it. It's going to be very difficult for both Ultra groups to create an atmosphere at the Bernabeu. It's going to go down to who's better on the day. And it feels like a Classico because you've got Neymar and Messi starting against Real Madrid. This is the nearest we'll get to it in this day and age. There's Gianluca with the PSG goalkeepers preparing them for the big game. Got to big him up, helped us get the ticket today. Absolute legend. Looks like me in Sunday League, that, doesn't it? Sure. Messi. Oh, that's what we want from him today. All I'm doing is watching Messi. I do feel if he gets a free kicking game, we know which corner it's going in. He's warming it up. PSG away and getting busier up there. Was when there was Messi, but when they said Kylian Mbappe, these Real Madrid fans were cheering like anything else. This guy's an opposition player. I'd like to hear your opinion in the comments. Real Madrid flexing their 13 Champions League titles more than anybody else. Somos los Reyes de Europa, the champions of Europe. Impressive display there. They are the kings of Europe, so they have the right to flex him. Oh, he's on the move as well. Brilliant from PSG on the counter here. Killing Mbappe against Real Madrid. That might be PSG style today, hit on the counter. They've been seeing Leo Messi dropping back, defending. They know they're going to have to defend as a unit. It's an on form Real Madrid side. Mbappe. No! Come on! Thibaut Courtois saves the day once again. You want him to sign that much? <laughs> You're clapping Mbappe. That was an injured player for Real Madrid. Mbappe kicks the ball out. And all the Real Madrid fans are clapping. Yeah. If that was any other player, there wouldn't be as many clapping. No, 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 Messi, boom. Gets up, give it to Neymar. Back to Messi, takes the keeper. Oh my God, simply, that is what he can do on another day that goes in. Kylian Mbappe just scored and he's been disallowed as offside. He did the celebration and then the goal got disallowed. Yeah, oh my god, my heart is. <laughs> yeah, celebrating in front of his future club potential. Who knows? This may be an issue for Real Madrid. He's done it in the exact same corner. PSG 1 0. Real Madrid fans are clapping. Real Madrid fans are clapping. PSG going 1 0 up. Why are they clapping? Mbappe scores and your fans are clapping, man. 39th minute. PSG go 2 0 on aggregate up. The Tinkerman. Good space here. Against the old rivals. Two minutes added on before the break. We got Lucas, we got Seb here, half time. What are your thoughts on the game so far? Yeah, sick, sick goal by Mbappe. They could have, yeah, they should have had another one. But I don't know why I got called offside, fair enough. Yeah. PSG had a better chance to be fair. It should, have, it should have been 2 0. Are they through in this tie now? Is, is 2 0 too far? Can Real Madrid come back? If it was last year, the away goal was 100%. Yeah. This year, like, you never know. Get early goal, second half, and change everything. Who, what's the full time and, uh, score? Who's going through? As I said earlier, 2 0, like 2, two 1, but, but PSG moment, are going through. Probably two -nil. Yeah, yeah. Probably, I hope uh, Fiorentino Perez is crying in his fun box wherever he is. <laughs> Why? Because Super League? Yeah, Super League. He wants to bring it back. Him and Yelly and uh, Barca's presence. That's football. shocking. I know a lot of Real Madrid fans will be watching this. And you may be for Super League, but every English person watching this, massively against it. Nobody yeah. wants it. He, it we, we were all at the uh, protest. We were the ones who stopped it. Yeah, with yeah, Petr Cech. was the one sort of trying to keep uh, Peter Cech back, holding him back. Mate, he mate, was raging. Mate, Petr Cech was fuming. But I tell you what, it's looking like PSG are going through. Yeah, it? as it stands at the moment. Yeah, yeah. I think 100% Hakimi getting mugged off. 
Hakimi, Reese James is better, but Hakimi is being turned for shreds by his business. Is You've just said Reese James is better than Hakimi. I think he is, but yeah. totally below. And, and guess which team these guys support? <laughs> guess which team they support? It doesn't take a genius with that comparison. Oh, back up the second half. Big second needed from Real Madrid here. Look at that. Perez, bro. <laughs> Do you love him? Yeah, of course. He's the best player in the Sorry. Oh no, that's amazing. Another disallowed goal from Mbappe. He's now scored three. This guy is just too good, isn't he? Yeah, he's... <laughs> you need him next year. <laughs> of course. Camavinga, Rodrigo. Good changes. Great chance, Benzema. Donnarumma booked. It was a Donnarumma error that led to the goal. They're back. Benzema getting close. How do you feel, boys? Are you, gonna, are you coming back? Yeah, of course we are scoring. Yeah? Hazard! They need one more goal to take this extra time. 30 minutes left. Ball, that's a ball, that's a ball. They don't score again. PSG go through. And to be honest, if PSG score now, the leg's done. Free kick. Sometimes you've got to pinch yourself and think, yes, I am watching Neymar and Messi in front of the free kick bar. Here comes Messi. Two golden generation players, Modric and Messi, two Ballon d'Or winners battling it out. It's what we love. Eight Ballon d'Ors on this pitch in front of us. Seven from Messi, one from Modric, but definitely one to come up on the back end very soon. A lot of them got their tops off as well. I mean, it's pretty cold in Madrid right now, I'll give you that. Oh, Modric, the man. Age is just a number. Look at him go, man. That's why he's got a Ballon d'Or. And this could be the goal to bring Real Madrid back. Oh, he's overdone it. moment Messi leaves the Champions League Karim Benzema Santiago Bernabeu! Go 
Karim Benzema is a hero in this city. Bro, how do you feel, man? How have you done this? It's the magic at the Bernabeu, the European magic. I respect it, man. The comeback of dreams and the Madridsters look like they're going to go to the quarterfinals. Mbappe, Neymar, Messi, out. The Los Blancos go crazy. First minute, Real Madrid are one ahead overall. The atmosphere is just going to level here. I've never seen the burn about. I mean, it reopened this year. I was there for the opening game against Celta Vigo. I have not seen an atmosphere like this on TV in the stadium. It's the best. Potentially the best in Spain. Let's just say at half time, I didn't expect this turnaround. Three goals just like that. Everton had Carlo Ancelotti last year. The tactician he's been today to turn this game around is absolutely incredible. That's football. Rodrigo wins a free kick, edge of the box. Goal or no goal? No goal. He's honest, he's honest. Beckham finished his career. Oh, Beckham finished his career. Oh yeah, Cristiano. Hakimi getting squealed, ex Real Madrid. We're now in the 89th minute, time is ticking. PSG score, they won't win because away goals rule was abolished. However, this game would go to extra time. Leo Messi. Not enough. Squeals from the Madrid fans behind the goal as they see Leo Messi to step up from a lot of range to score here as we go into the 90th minute. That's pretty obvious, four minutes. I mean, come on, come on. the fact from that range, Messi can make it go in so close. Crossbar for Messi. You can't deny he's not a brilliant footballer. Man. It's here in the Bernabeu. Nobody can deny this has been a special match. It doesn't matter who you support. Mbappe goes down. This could be the last kick of the game. We've had the four minutes extra time. And the ball's clear. Referee. Referee. Any moment now. Messi is out. The Champions League. So is Neymar and Mbappe. Real Madrid are through. What a comeback. I can't believe this bro. How do you feel? I can't describe it. I can't describe it. I can't describe it. He is the man. He's the tinker man. Congratulations guys, congratulations, well done. It's been a special day here at the Bernabeu.
The players go to the Real Madrid, boys in white. And the construction of the stadium is fully under route, but it looks like Real Madrid are back on track. Right, we're back at the gaff. Tell you what, incredible comeback from Real Madrid. Benzema hat trick. That man deserves to be in best number nine in the world. Him and Lewandowski are right now. Seb, Lucas, we sat there at half time and said PSG were going to go through. No problem. What happened? Look like a right. Bugs now. <laughs> Yeah, um, it just went out the window. You got to give it to Real Madrid, though. Yeah, Clinical. Give it to Real Madrid, and I didn't even realise, to be fair, Benzema like scored a hat trick till I got out of the stadium and looked, <laughs> looked at the score sheet. I'm not like, don't remember, didn't make a mistake. I think Pedri would have gone through. You reckon? And, uh, he, he tilted the game towards um, Real Madrid. Yeah. What's it like having Messi, Neymar, and Mbappe out of the Champions League? Is that wrong? We're not even at the quarterfinals, and these guys are not competing in it. It's just gonna work for them, man. like so. Just throwing money like that, it doesn't work for everyone. Guys, thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. Support the channel because it allows us to go to games like this, fly around the world, and watch the best Champions League, World Cup, Euro, everything event. Yeah, subscribe, and that's it from me. Cheers, guys. Pleasure. Thank you. Big up, Gianluca. Big up, Seven Lucas. See you in a bit. Bye.